www.nudaboss.com. My name is Ty. Uh, in this video, I'd like to share to you on how you can embed, I mean, create a playlist, a YouTube playlist, so you can embed them to your websites. Or you could also make use of that so that you could get a present that on the front page or prime page of your YouTube channel. What you do, you open up your web browser, Firefox, and then go to uh, YouTube.com and directly to your oh sorry directly to your channel just let's log into youtube.com first then from here it got sign in and you have to let me oop, my letter K isn't working on my keyboard and let's see if it would let us log in uh, from here um, there you go. It says in there, new works. We're actually logged in to our uh, channel, and from here we got these options. Click on the arrow, and look for something that says my channel. Click on that, and I'm gonna show you playlists right here. Take a look here, featured playlist. The reason why you want to make a playlist in case you're doing a tutorial uh, video. I mean, a series of tutorial videos like this. Uh, this is all about. An encore router. If you right click and open that to a different tab, it's, it's going to be present to you. This is Ty. This uh, video that I'm sorry, creating. Just pause this it, first because it's talking back. Here. So you got all those videos that you've created on this particular uh, title or subject, which is encore. And another, you've got Windows 8 apps and tools overview. You got all of those. Basically, you're just going to uh, create a category for the videos that you have for your subscribers or for people to somehow see them, and uh, they wouldn't like scroll up and down or look up from your list of channels. Because if you want to browse the video, like right here, it's going to list down all the videos depending on the date sequence, depending on the date. So how would they find that in case they would want to search for this and search for another? They wouldn't like spend time in looking that up from the list of your videos if you got a lot of videos. So you have to make a category for that. And also have uploaded videos, Android apps and tools, Android gaming, all those. And one thing about playlist, if you embed this to a website, a playlist would play continually. If a video ends and then the video would come in, it would play uh, continual. So that's going to be a lot of views for you without much of the effort. So just one link embedded to a website with probably 10 or 20 videos, and you got all the views that you can get. So from there, what you do is you go to your video manager right here. If you don't have that in there, you could go for uh, the arrow right on top on your account and go for something that says video manager one second I would need to charge my computer because I guess it's gonna die already because the battery is getting low one second there you go alright so let's go back so when you click on that again right here click on video manager then you've got all your videos listed right here Again, it's going to be listed depending on the date that you uploaded that. It's January 1st, January 1st, 2.43 p.m., 4.11, 4.29. All right, so it's not going to make a category by themselves. It's not going to automatically do that for you. So you're the one who's going to do that. How to create a playlist. You have to select a video. Let's think of that you'd want to have three videos included in one playlist. This right here. Second, or let's skip one so you can see the difference. Just put a check mark on this. Select the video, put a check mark. And then here, put a check mark. Then also put a check mark. We're going to be thinking that those three videos right there is uh, somehow related to each other that we want to make a playlist of. Let's say they're noodle recipes, all right? So what you do, after you check everything, you go to something that says right here, add to. Drop the arrow down. And you have something that says add to new playlist. Right, so click on add to new playlist. It's going to ask you to rename or give a name to that specific playlist. 
So what you do is you like make a noodle. Uh, let's space out a little recipes. And you can do that privately. You can do that publicly, so people can see all your videos. And you, can, of course, you can cancel. And you can click on create playlist right there. After you click on that, don't be surprised. It's not gonna do anything. But you go to uh, your playlist right here. From here, on the left side, you see something that says playlists. All right. So if you click on playlists, it's gonna give you noodle recipes and you have the option to edit that if you click on edit it's going to take you to that page and you can actually make changes right here you can add notes and also you can uh, adjust the start time and the end time of the video it's, it's not going to cut the video it's just going to play that from a certain point all right and add video by URL so you can add video like uh, let's say it's not from your channel but you you would want to get that from a different channel you can just add that in there you could click on this add from a different URL from a different channel and from here that's going to be your playlist already alright so what you do is let's go back again right here click back on video manager this time you're going to embed this to a website go back to playlists and you got noodle recipes what you do you don't click on edit but you click on noodle recipes right here so you got that now okay so again it's a little different from the earlier page so you got like you got share you got one two three what you do is you click on share remember if you hover on that it's gonna say share or embed this playlist click on share you have an option to share that to Facebook if you do all those three will be continual in playing each of the videos. If you do that on Twitter, you could do Google Plus, you could do all these accounts right here. And also, you have an option to send out through email right here. And the one that we're targeting is embed right there. When you embed, uh, depending on the size of the website that you have, you don't want to be make, make it a little awkward if it's large. So you have to select from the sizes that you have in here. If you want to do custom could select custom you can type the size that you want to have in here but again let's just select 640 by 360 you can make changes right here let me copy this right click over that code click on copy open your notepad if you know HTML if you know PHP or web design you can probably make changes on this let me make this uh, font let me make that a little bigger let's give out an 18 for that see and from here this is the only part that we're targeting with and height 640 by 360 you can make changes on that you can make it like 120 120 by 1 166 but remember you have to ratio out 16 uh, is to 9 or 16 by 9 for this because the video is on HD it's a high def video and it's uh, using uh, 1920 by 1080 720p I mean 1280 by 720 so if you're going to resize that without uh, minding of uh, the orientation then your video is going to be a little distorted it's going to fatten out a little bit so just remember you could use that in Photoshop or you could calculate 640 going down to a value of 360 going down ratioed over 16 is to 9 or 16 by 9 alright so from there this is what you're gonna use for your website I'm gonna try one for you um you, well I'm not because if I do uh, oh sure I can let me just do a draft of that noodleboss.com I'm gonna log in to um, our website so from here let me Login to oop right there and you should let us log in. Uh, I'm using WordPress for let me show you the website right here. No, it's it's not loading. One second. Here you have to make a post, okay? You know how to make a post. Click on new and click on post. If you're new to WordPress uh, and you want to have a, a WordPress website, see how it would look like, you can check out www.newtoboss.com. Also, we have a tutorial for that 
on starting off and creating a WordPress website, you can just have a look at that on uh, the videos that we have right here. So what you're going to do, you're going to copy this, all right? This is your code. Let's say uh, this is my noodle. Oh, no, these are my noodle videos. And then you embed that in there. Okay, and you could say noodle test. And just remember to save that as a draft, okay? Click on save as draft right there. And oh, it's not working. There you go. I click on save draft. It should give us a URL for that. So we could, there you go. So we got a URL. Click on preview post. It should, uh, the reason why I just saved that as a draft because there are people that uh, subscribe to the channel. So they're going to see me doing this test thing right here. These are my noodle videos. Oh, sorry. I'm using a, a, a trim down. So what you're going to do. I don't mind this if you and BSP. Let me just space that out. Let me put line breaks and publish. I just would want to eliminate this part. I would want to push it down. Then F5. And it should. Oop, what's that? So like that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, N. <laughs> Sorry, NBSP. What am I thinking right there? Okay, sorry, I inverted that. Okay, so from that point, it should actually space it down because it's breaking the line right there. I'm not using the container from that point. Okay, there you go. So these are my noodle videos. It's down now. We got those codes working okay in there. So you got your video right here. Remember, it would say playlist noodle recipes three videos so if you play that uh, let's say you have a, a very interesting video the first video so that person uh, when the video ends and it's gonna transpose to a different video uh, but it's gonna be continual so that person might be interested for the second video this is gonna continue playing then you got instantly three views just for one embedded page All right so it would actually look like that but if you're going to notice right here let's make it uh, let's give it a little different of a size 640 uh, let's make it uh, 120 no, 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 no. let's make it 250 this is how you make it smaller 250 by 120 this is not ratioed but uh, let's just try that I'm gonna I just want to show you some codes that would help you in framing your video. So that's still widescreen. That's very much of a widescreen, I guess. Okay, so that is your video right there. But remember, you'd want to make it centered, right? You don't want it to be on the left side because it's a little imbalanced. So what you do is just use a center code. So from here, this is your main code that you'd want to target. So you just go on a sandwich that between a center code open close tag slash center on the first center just click on update and click on F5 right there and it's already on that part okay so let me uh, make back to 640 360 so you could see it very very clear let's press F5 again one more time it should be a little larger this time there you go so that's all about creating a playlist on YouTube and embedding that to your uh, website so again for more of tutorial videos you can check out www.newtoboss.com again my name is Ty thanks for watching and see you back Oh. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and do visit the website.